Ah <laughs> oh, man, Grog is not gonna like that, man. He hates it. He hates it. What's good, good people? Celeviathan here, and we're back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up the Legend of Vox Machina. We're on episode eight, and yo, man, last episode had me reeling, yo. <laughs> Quick recap. Um, Percy finds out that his sister Cassandra is still alive, but she's the Briarwood's prized hostage. Archie knows where everybody lives because um, the Briarwood's overtook the old Deroller residences, and you know they pretty much hatch a plan. Scanlan, you know, he volunteers to be the distraction, and that whole sequence was great. You know, him kind of going in, escaping everybody, and then ultimately the final battle with Vedemeyer was great. I didn't expect him to take him out like that, but you know what? I'm never gonna underestimate Scanlan again. One of the worst parts of the that whole scene was like the end part where Professor Anders was holding up Cassandra to the neck and like slits her throat right in front of Percy and she's dying right there and you can see his face oh yo Percy's gonna snap this episode I guarantee it but yeah let's get started with that one don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and also make sure you check out that Patreon link for full on cut reactions of this show, other animes, movies, things like that. Honestly, if it's for you, I appreciate all the support that comes on there. But with that note, we're going to get started with The Legend of Vox Machina, Episode 8, A Silver Tongue. Let's go. Light and mercy cleanse the soul. Light and mercy cleanse the soul. I'm glad we're getting some pipe scenes, man. We were kind of missing her last episode. She was just non-existent at all. Guidance. Oh, damn, man. Why does she keep. This is all definitely in her head, man. She's so fearful of, like, Delilah's dark necromancy that, like, this is all a representation of it. The darkness lingers still, especially one for whom the connection to the Everlight is questionable. If you won't aid me, <laughs> then I'll do it alone. Yo, that was an insult, man. I hope this doesn't lead Pike down a uh, dark path, maybe. Maybe her desire to find the Everlight might be bad. Maybe. I'm glad we're starting right back here. Right away. Stay with oh, me. no, man. There's no I way she's alive, man. For longer than you can imagine. Keyleth, hurry! I need Wanderer's Moss, Flick Silver, and uh, the bag that says dirt. I need pressure on the wound before the spell can hold. Tick tock, tick tock. Can they actually save her from this? You can do this. Freaking Anders is just <laughs> casually chilling there too. It's pissing me off. The joy in watching the Dorolo child meet a painful end. Cheers. You son of a bitch. We're all sons of bitches. This is the second time I want Percy to just run in and kill somebody. I don't even care. Fuck Professor Anders. Does this guy Anders really think he has a chance against Percy right now? Seriously? <laughs> Rise, Whoa, what the hell is that? Is that what the why the episode was titled The Silver Tongue? Oh, does that mean that guy has can actually like make people do what he wants? Revenge is mine. Not if you're dead. We're in this shit together. I like that. I like that, Mac. I like that. If you're not dead down there, we can use some help. Their time, man. Oh, this is, oh. oh wait, no! Never mind, she's alive. <laughs> okay, sorry, never sorry, mind. I'm, 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 I'm sort of friends with Lucy, and um, oh, forget it. You're alive. Just wait here. Yo, my whole demeanor just changed, man. <laughs> He's 
things are strong, man. Especially if it's holding off Grog. Sense. Yeah, you gotta kind of like break up the armor a bit. Having trouble there, Grog. Because it looks like you're having trouble. Don't you do nothing. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Grog is not gonna like I that, man. Face. He hates it. So he hates much. it. How would you like to kill your friends for me? This is the one thing I was scared about, scared for that the silver tongue might work on them. Oh no. At your command. Damn it. Damn Kill it. Fox Machina. Uh, Grog. <laughs> Is she finally about to face what's kind of uh, keeping her away from the Everlight? Delilah? Everlight? Yo, that looks like pure sun sun energy. <laughs> Solar energy. You hurt me. Thank you. Speak, child. Who are you? I'm oh, this is amazing. This is the first time we're lost. seeing the goddess, the Everlight. I, I, I amazing. Tried to live up to your standards. Lies will not lead you back. I'm I, I'm not lying. She's lying to herself, man. That's the problem. How much fun this was going to be! I'd, I'd have possessed this Lummox and, and made, made him rip you apart right away. <laughs> we have to disarm him. <laughs> you go high. I'll go low. So scary, man. <laughs> I really do hope he gets his revenge on Anders in this episode. Please. <laughs> Enough of this. Yeah. Enough of this. If the dumb one can't complete my task, there are many more resources. Ah, man, he can, he can literally compel all of them. Your friends. <laughs> he can't kill his friends though, man. This is, this is gonna be a hard, hard dilemma. Will he will he focus on his revenge or his friendship? I think that's what they were trying to push him into. A talented mind needs time to cultivate, to think, to work out all the angles. Nice try to roll away. And yet it bought me all the time oh, I needed. Oh no, yeah, it did, man. It really did. He, that, he was pretty much saying exactly what he was doing. Yo! Amazing! The amount of accuracy you have to, like, I can't even say anything. He literally shot the silver tongue right out of him. What the fuck? Get it, I guess? Got it. You get you're getting everything you deserve you. right here, man. Guys, the smoke. Everyone's like, no, they're about to see exactly like what it is that he's tapping into here. Cause there's definitely some type of demonic thing that's like also pushing Percy, I think, as well. They've been alluding to that for a while. You know how Percy mentioned the six barrel? I'm thinking that he made a contract with something and the six barrels for himself. So that he can kill himself after he's done his deed. Like, that's the contract. The Briarwoods kept you alive. Of course they did. They had use for me. You must have wanted to escape. I feel like she must have, Running man. Running away was never my strong suit. Never was, you know? But she don't I don't know if she anymore. knew her brother was still alive, We're though. together. Maybe she didn't, maybe she didn't. 
She's changed completely too, man. I think, and then I think he sees that as well. It's a star chart, Grog. <laughs> These symbols show the sky at a specific time and date. The solstice. That's five days from now. Why would they have this? We need a signal, Archie. This definitely has something to do with the solstice, the sun tree, and maybe, I don't know. Because I know solstices usually, off the top of my head, usually have something to do with the sun not being out or being dark. Maybe. I think. Don't quote me on that, though. <laughs> Impressed. Bro, she is so powerful, man. It's amazing. Oh, they're, she's bringing hope to the people, too. She is showing the Dorola quest to everybody. The Dorolas are back. <laughs> they're not happy about that, though. Where's my steward? Did you need me to bring you something? You no, already have. man. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was gonna kill this guy. <laughs> as soon as I saw him, I'm like, this guy looks like a very, very killable character. Delilah, what are you doing? Protecting you. Amen Bran. What does she mean by protecting him in particular? Not protecting us? Protecting you? Huh. Ah, uh, of course! The zombies at some point. We've done all we can do for her. She's too far gone. The flames will burn away your falsehoods and reveal the truth. The truth. The truth is. I. I left the righteous path. When I'm with my friends, we, we mix it up, and we drink, we fight, but, and curse, and... But you know, and that's, never, that's not a bad thing, I love though, I mean, they're why you cut off my connection to your light. Unless... you didn't sever it. She did sever She severed it on her now own, man. You speak true. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I think now that Everlight's like, Alright, man, you, you, you stop lying to yourself? It's like, now we can start working and building, homie. Building this connection and friendship back together. Any path can be a holy one, so long as one walks it with truth. So I ask a final time, who are you? This is great, man. If this is like a, if Pike is gonna return next episode, I'm happy. Cause I've been missing her. I've been so missing sorry, her. Fred Meyer, your plan just backfired. You got Scanland. You got Scanland. Yo, Scanland, get off the streets right now, man. There's zombies running around here. They're definitely gonna run up on you, man. Quickly. Whoa. Huh. Fucking a. Oi. You fellas got room for a third? I just got done being a big bad hero, and uh, I'm down for a little ugly bumping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there? Everywhere? Of course it's zombies. Yeah. Because fuck me, that's why. Yeah. Honestly. You know, life just keeps kicking him in the, kicking him down, man, but he'll he'll get out of it. He always does. The signal. Oh no. Actually I didn't even consider that the fact that the zombies might have killed everybody in white in white stone. So there is no more of a resistance possibly. There's a there's a, whole, a horde of undead! I wonder how much she summoned, man. It looked like quite a lot. Okay, great. I hope we pan out and actually see the amounts. Yep, there it is. Holy shit! There's so many of them! It's a little, literal mini army of undead. So, that was Vox Machina Episode 8. Yo. Good episode. I'm happy Cassandra didn't die. I, I was like, how how is she gonna save her? Like, there's no way. It looked like she was literally bleeding out. But it was it was impressive, honestly. Professor Anders' silver tongue power was was scary. I thought to myself that if he this guy escaped or anything, it'd be very very bad. Especially the fact that he can compel everybody. It's pretty impressive that he was able to control like suits of armor though. Like, I would think that the silver tongue would be only um, used for regular people maybe, but. 
I don't know. I hope we. I wish we would got have got more of an explanation about that power, but I'm, I'm hoping it, it'll come into play at some point. That last shot that Percy did for Professor Anders was impressive. And I was mentioning this before, but I'm thinking this is what what's been uh, he's been alluding to, right? The fact that there's five barrels that he's gonna shoot everybody with, and then there's a sixth one for somebody else, right? I think the sixth one's for himself. I'm thinking that Percy might have made a contract with some something like something darker, and it said that I'll help you get your revenge, but you're gonna have to sell me your soul or something like that. The Briarwoods are finally retaliating. They're pissed off. They're mad. They saw the Darola crest, and they sent out all that undead horde. I'm hoping that the people aren't aren't dead or dead or anything because I was I, I had a legitimate fear that the resistance and like the people who are being pushed down would be killed by the undead army here and I'm happy that Cassandra's alive I don't know what the relationship with her and Percy is gonna be now going forward but she definitely seems like a person who's, who's who's completely changed because of her circumstances. She's she lost her innocence and, and it sucks to see. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. That was that was a great that was a great episode. Um, I will see you guys around again. Thank you guys for all the support you give. It is greatly greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys around. Bye.